Okay, we're here with uh, Jacob Fells, uh, working on our research project. So, uh, Jacob, tell us uh, what you're doing. Well, basically, we've been making some uh, solar cells out of carbon nanotubes. And uh, what we're trying to do is we need to measure the maximum efficiency uh, of the carbon nanotubes. And so we need something that will mimic natural sunlight. Um, what we've got here is the standard spectrum of sunlight at the sea level, which is blue line here. And what we've been doing is we've been using slide projectors, um, as you can see here, that they're lacking in the blue in the infrared region. So what we did is we bought we bought some LEDs, and uh, they have specific wavelengths. Okay. And using five of those, we have a composite spectrum. Okay. Now, as you can see here, you can see three lights, and the reason you can't see the other two are because they are in the infrared region. So that's the reason for that. We're measuring that with this spectroradiometer. Right here? Right here. Okay. And as you can see on the screen, it's being, it's being measured. Okay. Um, and then, as we have over here, are the potentiometers. Um, and you can adjust the current, which is over here. It's about 14 uh, milliamps. And so, you kind of uh, change this. All right. Okay. So we go back here. Then, as you can see, I'll jump up. So we're basically trying to adjust um, the profile to match that of the, uh, the same spectrum. Okay, great, great. So, um, how would you summarize your uh, last uh, two years of um, work here? Well, it's really interesting. It's a lot different from doing stuff in high school because you learn different things at such a fast pace. But it's really, it's really cool. Um, I kind of burned carbon nanotubes last year, and now we're kind of making solar cells out of the carbon nanotubes. And solar energy is really important, but they're nothing without the cells. Great. So, uh, Jacob Cells on solar cells. Great. Thanks.